Okay, everyone, we are back again with Danganronpa. And now we are at episode three of my recordings. So where we left off, we were introduced to everyone in the school. And now we are heading to the gym to uh, meet that mysterious being that was on the monitor. So let's go, shall we? Okay, now the gym is right around this corner here. I swear I'm not going to get lost again. Yeah, like, oh, cat, didn't you play this game already? How come you're getting lost? Because, like I told you, you barely go to the main hey, hall in this game. On. God, I have no idea this Hope's Peak Academy place was going to be such a pain in my balls. I love Mondo so much, but yeah. I just, I, I love his phrases and everything. Okay. It really ain't that much different from the time I spent in Juvie. Hell, this place is even worse. Uh, um, and why isn't there anyone here? Walking through this halls, I didn't see a single person. This is bad. Isn't that, like, seriously not good? <laughs> but they're just trying to spook us. They'll take those metal plates down later, I'm sure of it. Also, yes, while my mic audio is a lot better this time, the volume on the game is still kind of a bit high, so once I'm able to change that, I'm going to adjust the volume settings on the game so that you can hear me even better. So, yeah. All we can do now is hope for the best and prepare for the worst. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Well, hell, it ain't like I'm scared or nothing. Let's just get this over with. Hey, damn it. Hey, who is whoever called us out here? What are you thinking? Mondo, stop! No running! Well, then. I too shall go. <laughs> hey, wait! Don't leave me here all alone! Okay, time for some more tutorial action. Yawn. I'm just kidding. But yeah, I've been through all this, so it's like... Eh, I know everything, but like I said, I'll read it for you guys, so... You can press the tab key to observe the room you're in. Observing will display what people and objects you can interact with. Sorry for the late notice. Yeah, uh-huh, okay, thanks. Okay, well, uh... Dot, dot, dot. Total silence. For whatever reason, she's the only one managing to stay calm. Or maybe I'm just imagining that. Um, where are all the other students? Why are we the only ones here? Hang on a second. Sorry about that. Okay. Where are all the other students? Why are we the only ones here? I don't know. This is bad. Actually, I do know, but... You know, I'm just, you know, because some of you guys probably, if you're, this is your first time, you guys don't know, so... I'm totally getting a bad vibe right now. Plus, you know, in, in this scenario, Makoto knows nothing yet, so we're just playing as Makoto at this time, who does not know anything, so... Okay, let's go then. No use standing around here. Because you guys probably like, let's just get on with it. Still filled with uneasy dread, I did what the announcement said and went to the gym. And I saw what was waiting for us there. Oh, it really does look like an entrance ceremony. Yo. See? Told ya! It's totally normal entrance ceremony stuff! Hero was right. But in a way, that just emphasized how completely not normal all of us were. Hey there! Howdy! Hello! Is everyone here? Good! Then let's get things rolling! It's everyone's favorite! Character. Not really. I'm just, you know, I'm kidding. But maybe not. I don't know. But here we go. Teddy bear? I'm not a teddy bear. I am Monokuma! And I am this school's headmaster! Oh, 
Oh, I forgot to read that. I'm sorry. Eh. Well, you could read what he says, so. Sorry, it's just... I was distracted by my cat at the moment, and I forgot to read that dialogue, but whatever. Okay, but now we'll read it. <clears throat> nice to meet you all! Such a bright voice and carefree attitude was completely out of place. And all that anxiety I'd been carrying with me suddenly transformed into outright fear. What? 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 That teddy bear can talk! Calm down. I'm sure there's just a speaker inside it. Hey. I told you. I told you already. I'm not a teddy bear. I'm Monokuma, and I'm your headmaster. It moved. Seriously, man, calm down. It's probably just a remote control toy or something. How dare you compare me to a child's plaything? You've cut me deep. Deeper than the Mariana Trench! <laughs> My remote control system is so complex, even the folks at NASA can't recreate or even comprehend it! Ah, uh, but don't make me say stuff that might destroy NASA's dreams! I just couldn't bear that! Well, bear that? Really? You are unfortunate. Hmm. Now then, moving on! We really must hurry and get started! Come on. Giving up already? No other stupid bear puns? Now then. Quiet down now! Quiet down! Okay, so. Huh. He has abandoned the gag. Good morning! Everyone, stand at attention and bow! And good morning! You hear me? Good morning! Of course, Taka being Taka. You know. What's your problem? You don't have to say it back. Let us commence with the most noteworthy and memorable entrance ceremony. First, let's talk a bit about what your school life here will be like. Now, uh, make no mistake, you few students, so full of potential, represent the hope of the world. And to protect such splendid hope, you will all live a communal life together solely within the confines of this school. Everyone will live in harmony together and adhere to the rules and regulations of the school. Huh? Hmm. Ah, now then, regarding the end date for this communal life... Too bad. There isn't one! In other words, you'll all be here until the day you die, such as the school life you've been assigned. Hmm. Well, 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 what did he just say? Uh, until the day we d die? Yep. Oh, but fear not! We have quite an abundant budget, so you won't lack all for your common conveniences. Hold on a second. That's the least of our worries right now. Hmm. Yeah, what the hell? You're saying I have to live here forever? You're screwing with us, right? It's true. I am not screwing with you. I am no liar. Of that you can be 100% sure. Uh-huh. Uh, and just for your information, you're completely cut off from the outside world. So, you don't have to worry about that dirty, dirty land beyond these walls ever again. Cut off? So all those metal plates are all over the school? Sorry, just give me the volume. They're there to keep us trapped in here? That's exactly what they're there for! No matter how much you may yell and scream for help, help will not come. So with all of that in mind, feel free to live out your life here with reckless abandon. Hey, come on. Come on, what the hell is this? I don't care if the school or whoever else is behind it all. This is just a really bad joke. Damn you! Yeah, cut this crap out. It isn't funny anymore. I'm being a liar. You keep saying this is a lie or a joke. A bunch of skeptics, all of you. What are you gonna do? But I guess you can't help it, huh? You all grew up in an age where you're taught to doubt your neighbor. Well, you'll have plenty of time to find out whether or not what I say is true. And when that time comes, you'll see with your own eyeballs that I speak the undeniable truth. Most unfortunate. Having to live here forever would be quite the problem. What's this? Come on now, what's the matter with all of you? You decided of your own free will to attend Hope's Peak Academy, didn't you? And now, before the entrance ceremony is even finished, you've already decided you want to leave? Hey! Oh, um... but you know... I guess I did forget to mention one thing. There is 
is a way, one way for you to leave the school. Really? I wonder what it could be. <clears throat> I have no idea. Why are you asking me? Okay. <clears throat> Sorry, I had to clear my voice. Okay. Actually, as a head master, I've crafted a special clause for those of you who would like to leave. I call it the graduation clause. Aren't I a genius? Oh. Now then. Now, let me tell you all about this fun little rule. As I mentioned, in order to maintain an environment of harmony here, we rely on a communal lifestyle. And if someone were to disrupt that harmony, then they alone would be allowed to leave the school. That, my students, is the graduation clause. What? What do you mean by disrupt the harmony? <laughs> well, you know, if one person were to murder another. But murder? Stabbing, strangling, bludgeoning, crushing, hacking, drowning, igniting, how you do it doesn't matter. You must kill someone if you want to leave. It's as simple as that. <laughs> the rest is up to you. Give it your all to achieve the best outcome in the worst way possible. A chill shot down my spine. You must kill someone if you want to leave? As soon as I heard those words, my blood went cold. <laughs> I bet that got your brain juices flowing! That's the heck out of a human catching a salmon, huh? Like I said before, you guys are the hope of the world, but you know... Taking that hope and seeing it get murdered creates a dark and shadow of despair. I just find that so darn exciting! What the hell? What the hell are you talking about? To kill each other is... It's... Huh? To kill each other is to kill each other! I'm sure there's a dictionary here somewhere if you need it! What are you saying? We know what it means, that's not the problem. Why do we have to kill each other? Say what? Yeah, stop blabbering on with all this nonsense! Just let us go home already! Blabbering? Blabbering, blabbering, what do you mean blabbering? Stop blabbering on about blabbering on! You guys just don't get it, do you? Let us go, let us go! You keep on saying the same thing over and 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 over I'm having too much fun with this, I'm sorry. Listen, from this moment on, this school is your home, your life, your world, got it? can kill as much as you want to kill. So go ahead, go on a kill, kill, killing spree. <sighs> Alright, come on. How long are you going to keep this up? Hmm? Eh? You know? You got us, okay? You scared the hell out of us. So you can go ahead and reveal the trick now. Huh? Reveal the trick? I'm right, right? Yeah, because I mean, you know this is all some kind of trick and all, right? So, uh, like... <sighs> shit. Dude, shut the hell up and get out of my way. Shoving Hero aside, Mondo placed himself in front of Monokuma, his voice rumbling like thunder. You're fucking dead. Listen up, this crap's gone way too far. What the hell kind of joke is this? What's the matter? Joke? What? You mean like your hair? Uh oh. Oh no. He did not just go there. You son of a bitch. Mondo roared out, and then there was a sudden boom. It was the sound of the floorboards as he kicked off and launched himself into the air. He flew at Monokuma fast and straight as a bullet. He locked onto his target. Gotcha, you little piece of shit! I don't know if you're a toy or a stuffed animal or whatever the hell. Either way, I'm gonna rip you to fucking shreds! Why? Violence against the headmaster is in violation of school regulations! Shut the fuck up! Let me out of here, I swear to Christ! Uh-oh. That can't...
can't be good. Hey, damn it. What? No smart ass comeback this time? Piece of shit! Stop that goddamn beeping and say something! Watch out! Get rid of it! Huh? Hurry up and throw it! I don't know if her ferocity stunned him into silence or what, but without a word, he did what he was told. He threw Monokuma. And as soon as he did... The hell? What the? That sure as crap wasn't a joke. It blew the hell up. There was a painful ringing in my ears, and I could smell gunpowder. Explosions might happen all the time in movies or whatever, but when it's real life, I'd never seen anything like it. But, but you know, this means that the teddy bear's been destroyed, right? Hey! I told you, I'm not a teddy bear! I'm Monokuma! <laughs> what? There's another one! D damn you! you. <coughs> Sorry. You son of a gun! You seriously tried to kill me just now! Of course! Well, yeah! I was serious about trying to kill you! You did violate one of the school regulations after all! I'll let you off with a warning this time! But you better be careful from now on! Any naughty boy or girl who violates my rules won't get off with just a little swat on the butt! This is bad! Uh, hey, so does this mean there's like a bunch more of you around somewhere? Yep. Monokumas have been placed all throughout the school, yes. Plus, don't forget the surveillance cameras installed everywhere. And if you're caught breaking any rules, well, you all just saw what happened, right? <laughs> and I won't be so forgiving with my punishment next time, so don't let it happen again. But that's not even punishment. That's just wrong. Well... Now then, lastly, to commemorate your joyous entry into our school, I have a little something for you! Ta-da! This is our official student handbook! Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, sure. No, I'm just kidding. As you, as you can see, it's fully digital, so naturally we call it the e-handbook! Uh, okay. Hmm. No, I'm just, like, I'm, I'm, part of me's gonna be doing commentary as Makoto and as myself, like, you know, Makoto's thoughts. So if I'm like, eh, I don't know what's going on, that's just Makoto talking. Whatever. <clears throat> yes, well, moving on. This handbook is absolutely vital to a healthy school life, so don't lose it. When you start it up, it will display your name. Anyways, always make sure you have the right one. Now, this is not your everyday notebook. It has so many more uses than that. What? Also, it's completely waterproof. Splash it, wash it, drown it, it'll keep on ticking. And thanks to its space-age design, it can withstand an impact force of up to 10 tons. Very resistant. It contains all of our school regulations, so make sure you review them thoroughly. You guys? You'll hear me say this a lot, but any violation of school regulations will not be tolerated. Shing. Rules restrict, yes, but they also protect. Society, for example, would be utter chaos without laws. Yes, the same thing applies here, which is why it's crucial we have strict punishments in place for violators. Okay, well, that brings our entrance ceremony to a close. Bye bye! Please enjoy your abundantly dreary school life, and see ya! <laughs> and with that, he was gone, leaving us all in a state of shock. <laughs> so, guys, how would you define what we just experienced? How? Why? I don't understand any of this. We have to live here forever? Or, or, or kill? What, what just happened? Calm down. Everyone, we need to just calm down. First, let's just take a second to summarize everything we just heard. Based on what Monokuma said, we essentially have two choices. Choice number one is that we each stay here living a communal life together until the day we die. And the other choice is... Indeed. If we want to get out of here alive, we have to kill someone, right? That's... But... But... Killing someone, that's... <laughs> we were abducted out of nowhere and stuck into this place meant to look like a school. And now we're supposed to start killing each other. This is... This is just... What is this? Ridiculous. 
ridiculous. Sorry, I'll, I'll, I'll fix my voice for him for me, but... Eh. A lie is what it is. All these ridiculous things we've heard, this all has to be fake. Hmm. Right now, it doesn't really matter if it's real or fake. What matters is... So in other words, is there anyone here who's seriously considering all this? To that, nobody had a response. Keeping quiet myself, I looked around at the others. They all stared at one another, trying to gauge each other's thoughts. I could almost taste the hostility. And that's when it hit me. I realized the true terror hidden within the rules Monokuma had laid out. You must kill someone if you want to leave. Those words implanted vicious thoughts deep within my each of us. Each of us became suspicious of everyone else. We were forced to wonder, is somebody going to betray us? And that was how my new school life began. This school, which had come out of nowhere to raise my hopes so high, it's not a school of hope. It's a school of despair. And with that, we have finished the prologue. <laughs> Surviving students 15. Well, I mean, no one died yet, so. Oops. I mean, die? People die? Just kidding. I'll let you guys watch the intro if you want. I know some, like, Let's Players skip it, but I'll just let it play. Even though it will probably lag a bit. Oh, but this kind of spoils stuff, doesn't it? Eh, uh, no, not really. I mean, they have it as the opening anyway, so like, even when you go into the game, you're gonna see it, so. Plus, you can see all the character er, character shots in the beginning and stuff. Oh. Yeah, they, they didn't think this opening through because it spoils stuff. Well, not really, because... Eh. I'm not gonna say anything else, though. Oh, look, it's Monokuma. Yeah, I like that, uh, shot of Mondo there. Just saying. And that's the intro. You received the school crest present. Yay! Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I'm gonna Oh I can't I can't get to the menu yet, so but when I can, like I said, I'll adjust the volumes and stuff. Okay. You must kill someone if you want to leave. My mind froze and my breath caught in my throat as I thought about that. I could feel a paralyzing fear slowly making its way through my body, dominating every last nerve. <coughs> Sorry, my voice is giving out right now, but this one might be short, or I might make it a two-parter where, like, I put two parts into one episode in case a part ends up being super short because, yeah. Because I don't want to have a billion episodes and have them all be like short. So hopefully from here on out they're longer <coughs> than the first two because first two I had audio issues and other issues. So yeah. I can feel a paralyzing... Did I read this already? Dominating my everlast nerve. Yeah, I read this already. Okay, sorry. <coughs> the air hung heavy on me, pressing down like a weight around my neck. It took everything I had just to endure that weight. Chapter 1, to survive. 
Also, later I might do, I might start Final Fantasy VII playthrough, or grind through, if you want to call it. But enough about that. <clears throat> We're playing Dog and Dropper right now. I'll worry about that later. But fur is heavy as the air fell. <clears throat> also, sorry about my voice. It's giving out because I've already done two episodes, two and a half episodes. So, it's going to get raspy. I do have water, though, so. It should be fine, though. But for as heavy as the air felt, all it took to pierce it <clears throat> was her sharp words. And? So, what are you going to do now? Hey. I think my voice is like this now because I do Monokuma's voice, and his voice kind of strains my voice. But his voice is a lot of fun to do, I'm just going to say. But it definitely is a workout to do his voice, so I'm, th I'm thankful to get back to the other characters with more normal voices. So yeah. Just stand around glaring at each other? Her pointed comment was directed at everyone in the room. It helped pull us all back to reality. <clears throat> right. She's right. Listen to me. Sometimes, even if you're nervous or afraid, you just have to step forward. <laughs> to forget such a simple fact. I can't forgive myself. I'm so ashamed. You hear me? Please, someone hit me. I can't forgive myself. Somebody hit me. Punish me. Well, Taka, if that's what you're into, I'm just kidding. Or am I? I don't know. Jesus, if you have time to yell about it, you have time to do something about it. However... Perhaps, but what is the mission exactly? Stupid. Idiot. To look for a way out. Duh. What the... And we totally need to find whoever was controlling that stupid bear and beat the hell out of him. But... But, but before we do all that... Maybe we should take a look at the handbook. It's probably best to check out the school regulations Monokuma mentioned before doing anything else. This is fine. True. If we stumble around with no clue what the rules are, something like that might happen again. Crap. Alright. Fine. So then... Fine, then let's hurry up and check out the stupid rules already. Oh, so magical. Makoto na eggy. Why did I say it like that? I have no idea. After turning on my e-handbook, the first thing that appeared was my name. So just like Monokuma said, the owner's name showed up front and center. Then from the main menu that popped up, I selected the school regulations icon. An itemized list appeared on screen. It was the school regulations. In other words, the rules being imposed on us all. Students may reside only within this school. Leaving campus is an unacceptable use of time. And impossible. So. Nighttime is from 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. Some areas are off limits at night, so please exercise caution. Sleeping anywhere other than the dormitory will be seen as sleeping in class and punished accordingly. So don't fall asleep other anywhere other than the dorms, kids. No sleeping in class! Anyways. With minimal restrictions, you are free to explore Hope's Peak Academy at your discretion. Discretion. Blech. Sorry. Vi <laughs> Violence against Headmaster Monokuma is strictly prohibited, as is destruction of surveillance cameras. Oh no. Well darn. <laughs> Anyone who kills a fellow student and becomes blackened will graduate unless they are discovered. Additional school regulations may be added as necessary. Okie dokie then. Feeling a slight dizziness, I raised my face up from the screen. As I looked around, I saw the same stormy expression on everyone's faces. Stop fucking around. This is bullcrap. What the hell kind of rules are these? I'm not gonna let them control me. <laughs> well then, why don't you wander around the school without a care in the world and see what happens? Personally, I would love to see what happens when someone breaks one of the rules. However... But if he got punished like what we saw before, I don't think there'd be a respawn waiting for him. <laughs> Poor Mondo! It's okay, Mondo. Just, just don't break the rules, okay? Okay. Yo. I... Ever since I was a kid, I grew up with my older brother pounding this into my head. When a man makes a promise, he has to keep it, even if it kills him. And... So what? I love her expression. Like, so what? No one cares. What? 
I've made a ton of promises that I still have to keep. That's so what? Piece of shit! So I can't afford to die here! <sighs> None of that made much sense to me. But you are saying you will follow the regulations, is that it? That's true. Huh? Uh, uh, well, yeah, I guess you're right. Um, hey, um, I have a question. For regulation number six, what do you think it means exactly? Anyone who kills a fellow student and becomes blackened will graduate unless they are discovered. You're talking about the second half, right? Where it says unless they are discovered? You're talking about the second half, right? Where it says unless they are discovered? I was wondering about that myself. Hmm. It's saying that if you want to graduate, you have to kill someone without anyone finding out it was you. But why? Why do we have to do that? Hmm. I don't see any reason to worry about it. Just worry about following the rules as they've been explained to us. Such ignorance. Frankly, I don't want to hear anything from someone who waits for others to decide what to do for them. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I love I love her faces. D don't jab at me. Give me a break. More like a full-on stab. Well, for now, let's forget all that silly junk about murders or whatever. Okay. Now that we know the rules, <clears throat> let's start exploring the school. Hmm. True. We need to find out where exactly we are. Is there any way out? What about food and supplies? You understand? There are tons of questions we need to answer. Let's do it! Damn straight! Okay, then let's all start looking around. Hmm. I'll be going alone. What? What? Why? That's a pretty stupid idea, don't you think? Hm. Someone here might already have started thinking about murdering one of us. Are you saying we should stand around with them in our midst and make it that much easier for them? Uh, hold on a second. Wait, hold on a second. That would never... What? Don't bother saying it couldn't happen. You can't deny the possibility. That's why you all seized up with fear when that graduation rule was made clear to you. <laughs> Am I wrong? Uh, um, uh, but... <laughs> so, I'm simply acting in accordance with what I think is best for me. Just hold on. Hold on! Like hell I'm gonna let you run off and do whatever you want. What? Out of my way. <laughs> I love this line so much. Out of my way, Plankton. What? The hell is that supposed to mean? Such ignorance. One tiny bit of plankton drifting across the sea. <gasps> I'm not gonna sing this button bomb thing, I promise. Be my promise. But it's so tempting. So minuscule, so insignificant, they couldn't possibly have any kind of influence on the boundless ocean. You're fucking dead. I'm gonna kick your butt. S stop it! We shouldn't fight! What? What the hell you just say? You some kind of goody goody little butt? You wanna throw down? Who do you think you are talking to me like that? You think you're my effing dad or something? N no, I wasn't. You son of a bitch. F you. Wham. Oh, poor Makoto. Bad Mondo. No hitting. That's not a roll, but whatever. You 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 can you can hit each other, obviously, but you can't hit Monokuma. So, you know. Mondo's a butt, so. I love him, but he, <clears throat> he can be mean, so yeah. And I flew back, he punched me, and I flew back in a heap. The poor baby. It was like something straight out of a comic book. I didn't even see the punch coming. I was just suddenly right there, it was just suddenly right there in my face. One second I was standing there, the next I was soaring through the air. Now that I think about it, maybe I'd kind of forgotten. The kind of people I've been trapped here with. My common sense had just stopped functioning. Being around all these ultimates, ultimates have blown my fuses. So I guess I shouldn't be surprised to lead to something as absurd as this. But I just lost track of that sense of reality. That was my last thought as, a con as my consciousness started to fade. Before it finally cut out completely. 
And when I finally opened my eyes again, what I saw was... Nigga! Huh? Well, where am I? As if it had become part of my daily routine, I woke up in yet another room I'd never seen before. Okay, so... Where am I now? You now have access to the handbook menu. Finally. I forgot how long it took to get access to the menu. Okay. You can use this to check a variety of information as you play. Open the handbook menu by pressing the F1 key. Or the X key. Wait, is it the X key? No, wait, that pulls up the... I think it's the... It's either the F1 or X key. It's both, I think, so... Because I remember using the X key to open the menu. That's irrelevant right now. Okay. You can use this menu to check the school regulations and character info in the report card section. At certain points, map and truth bullets may not be available. You can also save and load game data under the system section. Finally, press the F2 key to review the transcript. This records all pertinent info, so use this to review comments from everyone involved. Yay! Yeah, you can press the X key also to open up. Okay, so I will... Fix the volume. Okay. Oh. Okay, I'll keep it at that so that now you can hear me better, so. Okay. Eh. Okay. There we go. Alright. We'll play a little bit more here and then end this episode, so. Sorry, I accidentally, like, hit the cord to the webcam and it moved a bit. So, if you hear a weird sound just now, that's what it was. Okay, time to explore. Oh, look, a, oh, look, a key! This must be the key to the room. My name's written on the keychain, which means it must be mine, right? It, I'd better hang on to it for now. Yep, be a good idea. And there's a lint roller. It's some kind of lint roller. I guess we're supposed to clean up after ourselves. Well, yeah, you kind of are. Oh, what's in here? This would appear to be the bathroom. Oh, no, it's locked. Or is it? No, I shouldn't say stuff. Huh? It's not opening. I guess it's locked. Oh, no, there's metal plates here, too. <laughs> I know that, but like I said, I'm... I'm trying to be like Makoto here, who's unaware of stuff, so. There's some kind of metal plate mounted here. Well, der. Okay, let's see. Look at the bed. There doesn't seem to be anything particularly strange about the bed. It's a notepad. I guess the school must have given one to each of us. It's a strange looking notepad, though. Well, maybe not. I don't know. I guess there are notepads that look like that, so... It just looks very bulky to me. I'm like, why'd they make it such a bulky notepad? Anyways, it looks like there's something in the drawer. It's a toolkit. It must be brand new. It's still in the shrink wrap. I don't really need it right now, so I'll just leave it here. A little trash can. Just an everyday trash can. Can I toss Mondo in it? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Just an everyday trash can. I don't see any kind of trap door or hidden compartments or anything. Oh yay! My first Monokuma coin in this playthrough. I'll be collecting those. You'll see why later. There's a piece of paper hanging up on the wall which says... Announcement from Headmaster Monokuma. Each room's lock has been designed to completely protect against tampering or lock picking. Hooray! We're making an inv individual... Uh, Remaking an individual room key is quite troublesome, so please make sure not to lose yours. Your room comes furnished with a shower, but please note that water is turned off at night time. Also, the bathrooms in the girls' rooms include a lock of their own. Finally, we prepared a small gift for each of you. For the girls, a sewing kit. I'll take ten of those. And for the boys, a tool kit. The sewing kit includes a map of the body's vital organs. One stab will do the job, girls. But what if I just want to sew? <laughs> Come on, Monokuma. No, I'm just kidding. But, but if I were, you know, trapped in the school and I got a sewing kit, I'd just use it to sew, honestly. Like, I wouldn't use it to kill. I'd just be like, 
I'll be in my room sewing, guys, later. Because if you all know me, I, I, I sew everything. So, Well, not everything, but like, yeah, you know, it's my main hobby, so. For the boys, we believe a strong blow to the head with any of the tools should be ample. Don't think, just feel, and let's all enjoy ourselves. Dot, dot, dot. I crumpled up the sheet of paper and threw it in the trash, along with Mondo's hair. No. I'm just kidding. But that would be funny, though. What if it's a toupee? No. I don't think it is, but that would be hilarious if Makoto just grabbed Mondo by the hair, and it was a toupee, and he threw it in the trash. And Mondo's like, my hair! Anyways. Okay, so. Can I leave? Oh, I should look around. Fine. Oh, look at the damn door. Looks like the store leads outside. It's locked. So some of the rooms have locks, huh? They all have locks, you doofus. Did you not pay attention to that paper? I think I'm starting to understand. This room must be... Sleeping anywhere or another... No, we've read this already. This is my assigned dorm room. I hope so. Someone must have carried me here after I fell unconscious. It was Mondo. He felt sorry for what he did. Or did he? I don't know. So that answers that question. The next question is... What's everyone else up to right now? There's only one way to find out. And that's to get out of here. Okie dokie. Actually... I might end this episode here or at, in a few minutes, so just letting you know. I rushed out of the room to meet up with all the others, but there was someone waiting for me there. It was like something out of an old TV show. Wham. <gasps> oh no! Oh, Sayaka? Sorry, are you okay? I I'm fine. I hope you're okay. Sorry about that. She had an embarrassed smile on her face. I stood up slowly. Are you okay, Sayaka? Are you hurt? <laughs> you make it sound worse than it is. I'm completely fine. I know how I look, but I've actually built some pretty good muscle jumping up and down on stage. That's good, then. Um, but are you okay? You know, from when Mondo hit you. That's true. I got knocked out right there in front of everyone. How embarrassing. I guess I revealed my lack of cool right from the beginning. Makoto. Oh, uh, I I'm fine. Nothing wrong here. That's good. Oh, that's good. I was kind of worried. Thanks. By the way, what are you doing here? Uh, um... Actually, I came to get you. You came to get me? Um... Well, Listen. if you really are feeling better, I was hoping you could come to the dining hall. The dining hall? You see. After you got knocked out, everyone decided to go and do their own thing. We decided it would be more effective if we split up to investigate. So we agreed to get together later on and talk about what we each found out. So does that mean it's almost time to get back together? If that's what's going on, then of course I'll go with you. That's good. Oh good, I'll go on ahead and meet you at the dining hall. Okay, so I'm going to end this one here, and I will see you guys in episode 4, and thank you for joining me for this playthrough of Danganronpa. Hopefully you watched the first two before this, even though the first two have their issues. Hopefully this one is a lot better. If not, I will continue to fix things until these are perfected at the best of my ability. So with that said, I will see you guys later! And also, I might do a recording of me grinding in Final Fantasy VII later tonight. We shall see. Depends on if my voice is still working and, you know, I might not be able to do that tonight. But we'll see. I will try. Um, it depends on circumstances. But yeah. But I might do that either tonight or tomorrow. So yeah. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Bye!